Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon or Rising. It's the weekly reading for the week of October 21st to the 27th. Cancer, this week you've got the Awakening Oracle card. You have the Four of Wands, the Queen of Swords, Judgment, the Tower, Four of Swords and Justice. So as you can see, you have some powerful, powerful energies here, Cancer. We have half of the reading of Major Arcana. You know, we have double awakening energy. So, you know, this is a significant event in your life. Um, the, you know, Major Arcana linked to the big lessons, the karmic um, contracts, the themes, that kind of thing. And the Minor Arcana are more about how it's going to play out, the how and why of the situation. So, you know, we just had the, um, obviously we just had the, the, the Aries full moon um, a week ago and I think, you know, now that, that that is waning, we're really in a big period of release, you know, we're in a period of letting go of things that don't serve us, awakening to truths and that is definitely what's happening for you this week, Cancer. So I was going to kick off here by reading out your Oracle card, Awakening. Energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. You're going through a period of awakening. Things are changing within you and at many levels. You are starting to remember ancient truths and discovering more and more about who you are and why you incarnated. You may find that you are experiencing past life flashbacks, seeing the invisible thread that is woven through all of life, or even feeling Kundalini Shakti rising through your body from the base of your spine. So really what that says to me, Cancer, is that you're moving into a time where you are connecting more powerfully to your higher self which means that you are, you know, seeing things more clearly, you're becoming more aligned. You know, when we um, connect with our higher self, we have more access to our intuition. We have more access to um, some of those like brain um, centers and energies that um, are dormant for most of us. And through that process, we have, you know, we can have a greater clarity and vision to see things for what they really are. That's what's happening here. So, recent past. <sighs> Cancer, Queen of Swords and Judgment. This is all about seeing truths. Truths revealed. Awakening to, you know, awakening to see things exactly, you know, as they are. Now, I don't know where to start. <laughs> I'm going to start with Judgment. Okay, so, I think um, in the recent past... Some of you have been in a situation that made you feel, you know, constricted, contracted, or confined. So what can that be? Well, it can be those situations that make us feel shut down. Sometimes that can just be um, about, you know, a certain person that triggers us or keeps us small or that makes us feel like we can't express ourselves, we can't share our voice. It could be in the workplace and it could be in a relationship. I think we all know that feeling of feeling contracted. Well, we can't be who we are. You know, it's a, it's a horrible feeling. But, you know, you've had some kind of awakening, some kind of wake-up call. Um, you know, you've heard, you've heard the call of this angel here with their trumpet. And the trumpet, they're saying, you know, you don't stand for this anymore for your life. There's greater things. There's bigger and better things waiting for you. Don't keep yourself self stuck. Don't keep yourself small. This is judgment time. Awaken to your truth. You know, and with that Queen of Swords, there could have actually been a truth that you learned about a situation. Or maybe you're just having, um, you know, the visionary power that the Queen of Swords has to see a situation for exactly what it was. Whereas in the past, you might have been a willing party going along with it. Now you're almost like an observer. You're standing on the outside of the situation looking in and going, oh, you know, I can now I can see how the situation isn't serving me. And the Queen of Swords, you know, she holds her sword of victory. You've got Justice here who also holds a sword of victory. This is about you stepping back into your power, using that sword to cut yourself free from the situations, things, people, experiences that are no longer serving you. It's about establishing new boundaries in your life. And through that process, Cancer, there is true transformation on offer. You know, that judgment card can also be about the card of last chances. It's about the last call. It's about forgiveness, you know. Is there anyone that you need to forgive as part of this process of awakening and moving forward? You know, are you going to give this situation a last go? Or are you going to clear the slate clean? Look, I think that this week, Cancer... 
you are going to be clearing the slate clean. In fact, the universe is stepping in to help you do that under that tower energy. So the tower comes in for us when, you know, um, a construct, a situation um, needs to be basically brought down in order for us to get back onto our life path. So the tower, you know, it's, it's not a subtle energy, but it can just be a huge revelation. You know, we have the awakening, we have the queen of swords here, can be just seeing the truth, or it can be a situation, you know, literally imploding or erupting, could be a big argument, could be discovering that somebody's, you know, cheated or lied or hidden truth from you. Um, either way, it's all coming to light here. Now, the tower, you know, it's a blessing in disguise. I know it looks ominous, but it's here to serve your best interest, to get you back on the life path that you're meant to be on. Because it says that the situation that you're pursuing was built on a shaky foundation anyway. And it's no longer a fit for you. You know, we have a square tower, we have a round crown. So it's really time for that to, to be brought down. Now, you know, we do have the second chances uh, indicated in the judgment card, but the warning with the tower is, if we want to salvage anything from the situation, we cannot rebuild the same tower because then it's just going to come down again in the future. You're going to be re-experiencing that pain. So if you really do want to rebuild and pursue this situation, it needs to be rebuilt from a completely different place. There's going to have to be big, uh, big conversations, big transformations going on. But either way, you know, the situation is coming to justice this week, Cancer. So this justice energy is about a fear and just modification you know, coming into a situation where an adjustment is needed to bring it back into balance. You know, maybe you were really out of power in this situation. If you were feeling constricted, you would have been. But this is about you saying, you know what, I'm stepping into my power now and I am, you know, I'm demanding justice. I'm demanding this to be, to be brought, you know, brought into balance. Now, that justice card did come out with the King of Pentacles in reverse. So, look... Justice can, it can indicate the signing of legal contracts, it can be work contracts, it can be, um, you know, end of relationship, divorce papers, um, you know, that kind of thing. With that King of Pentacles in reverse, you know, this could be an, an indicator that there is some financial loss um, that could be experienced. If it's a work situation and you're having to walk away, um, you know, maybe they're going to try not to, not to pay you that last amount or... Um, withhold some finances from you if you know this is a relationship situation you may know that you're going to walk away um, with less money uh, maybe you know it's not going to go in your favor financially or it could just mean that you know there's going to be a financial impact as in if you're in a relationship situation and you're splitting up a household of course you're going to be down to half of what you had before but that's not a reason enough to stay in a situation that's not serving you you know it really has to be brought down anyway so you will recover from the cancer we just have to surrender and go with it for now so immediate future, near future, we have the Three of Swords and we have the Four of Wands. So Three of Swords, yeah, this is you taking time out after the aftermath of this Tower Energy. This is the re recuperation, the restoring, the rest. You know, some of you might actually go through a period of fatigue or depression. Um, you know, if we're in Tower Energy, there can be a lot of adrenaline, adrenaline released, we can be sort of really running on those energies and often we crash afterwards. So you need to really, you know, up the self-care, take the rest that you need and take time for healing of the heart as well. You know, we link to the Three of Swords here, which can be about healing deep wounds, feeling grief and pain. But, you know, that will go, that will go in time. You know, this is somebody who is taking time out to re-establish a new battle plan you know they've still got one sword here there's still a lot of fight in there but you might just need to take some time out to recuperate the four of wands for me in this reading is about you re-establishing your sense of stability again you know four wands four sides of a square very stable structure so it says by well, you know restoring and taking time out you are also restoring your sense of stability both physically and mentally. Also with that Four of Wands, it can talk about, you know, celebrating in the future, 
I think that you will celebrate um, the situation coming to a completion, even though it felt awful at the time. And it can talk about the future promise of beautiful home, of marriage, of finding a situation or a partnership relationship that really serves you, that you're going to be truly abundant and happy in. Um, you know, there's also the 1111 formation here. So it can talk about synchronicity. You know, after you heal the situation, cancer, a situation that probably was really heavy and blocking you on some part, some way, then you're able to reconnect with your higher self and be in the flow of life. And when we're in that, that's when the universe rewards us. That's when the synchronicities come in. And that's when we have the ability to manifest our truest dreams. Cancer, that's what I have for you this week. It's a big reading. I wish you all the best with um, what could be, a, you know, quite a um, challenging week for you. Um, keep in mind it is a general reading. Not everyone will have tower moments this week. Um, you're not the only sign that the tower is making an appearance of. There is definitely a theme going on of great purging. So you're not alone in this. Um, leave me a comment. I'd love to know how it's playing out in your daily life. And I'll see you back here next week for another reading.